But apart from that, the nation could not believe because they would not believe. Willing unbelief became judicial unbelief. God fixed them in their rejection. Go to the end of the book of Acts and in chapter 28. And we all understand that Paul is a prisoner in Rome. When they set a day for Paul, they came to him at his lodging in large numbers. And these are Jews as noted down in verse 17. And he was explaining to them by solemnly testifying about the kingdom of God and trying to persuade them concerning Jesus from both the law of Moses and from the prophets from morning till evening. So he's giving Old Testament evidence of Jesus. Some were being persuaded by the things spoken, but others would not believe. And when they did not agree with one another, they began leaving after Paul had spoken one parting word. Some were saying, it sounds reasonable, seems believable. Others, the very opposite. And the parting word is, the Holy Spirit rightly spoke through Isaiah the prophet to your father, saying, go to this people and say, you will keep on hearing but will not understand, you will keep on seeing but will not perceive, for the heart of this people has become dull, and with their ears they scarcely hear, and they have closed their eyes, otherwise they might see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and return, and I would heal them." Again, Paul says to the Jews at the end of his ministry in Rome, it's too late. In verse 28, after Paul quotes the same passage in Isaiah 6, "'Therefore let it be known to you that this salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, they will also listen.'" This is exactly the same thing that Jesus said. This is exactly what Isaiah said. Turn to Romans 11, and we're almost back to Mark. This is very important. Paul is talking about salvation, salvation of the Jews, Romans 11, verse 5, in the same way then there has also come to be at the present time a remnant according to God's gracious choice by election, a remnant. But if it is by grace, it is no longer on the basis of works, otherwise grace is no longer grace. What then? What Israel is seeking, it has not obtained." That is just a terrifying statement. Paul is saying again, essentially what he said at the end of the book of Acts, Israel is seeking righteousness, seeking a relationship with God, but it has not obtained it. But those who were chosen obtained it, and the rest were hardened. There's in unmistakable terms the doctrine of election. And then, quoting the Old Testament, just as it is written, God gave them a spirit of stupor, eyes to see not, ears to hear not, down to this very day. And David says, let their table become a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a retribution to them. Let their eyes be darkened to see not and bend their backs forever." Drawn from Isaiah and Psalms. And again, it's too late. It's too late. A remnant chosen, verse 7, those who were chosen obtained salvation grace. <laughs> 